you got to give mercy sometime. Because if you receive mercy from God, he's expecting you to give it to somebody else. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy Lord. Now, he said, uh, with him is plenteous redemption. A whole lot of redemption. Plenty is. God is able to forgive. As Reverend Robinson spoke so well this morning, talking about, oh, some 30 some years ago, and how he was talking about where his mind was. He was telling me this before we got started in here. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, he said he was walking around uh, as a dead man. He was a, alive in the body, but his soul was dead. Amen. Don't you know that happens right now? Amen. You can be alive in your body, but your soul can be dead Amen. because you have not opened it up unto God. All right. And just because you opened it up unto God doesn't mean that you have all of the knowledge of God. Amen. There's not a person alive that can have all of the knowledge of God. People ask me all the time, how much about God do you know? You got degrees. Yeah, I got degrees, but I got enough sense to know. I know just about that much about God. Why would I say such a thing? Because God is so mighty. God is so powerful. God is so plenty. Everything has a message from God. Don't you know, look around you. Every ant, yes. never been to school. Huh. But ants know how to do construction. Yes. Ants know how. Don't you know that termites, they know how yes. to tear down. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. Yes. They don't do a whole lot of fussing about it. <laughs> they don't do a whole lot of fussing, but they go to work. I'll, if you want to know, look around you. Look at the bee. Who taught the bee? Who has the bee school? I had some honey this morning. And I before I ate the honey, I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because the honey was sweet to my taste. Honey was sweet on my tongue. And I thank the Lord. I don't know anything about making honey. But the bee does. God put something in every creature that they are to do their work while they have life. What is your work? Your work is to obey God. Obey God and praise Him. Look forward to the time when we won't be here anymore. You won't be here. Oh, it's been a while since we've had uh, the funeral of somebody that we love and care about. But that doesn't mean that we won't get the news this evening about somebody. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. There is no guarantee what you can and uh, you might hear. Mm -hmm. But we live, we're living on the mercy of God. Amen. Now, I'm going to finish up with this. He shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. He shall redeem. That mean, redeem means that he has uh, had a bill at the store. You know, you, you had a bill at the store. That means that he had everything set up with God, but then he left God. So if you're going to be redeemed, that means you're going to be brought back into the blessing. Now, so he said, Israel, he shall redeem Israel from all. He didn't say some. Some of your iniquities, sometimes with even with us. Look at us. Everybody in here has a past. Am I right? Everybody here has a past. Sometimes we want to cover it up and all that. 
some folk won't let you cover it up. Because right. every time they see you, they want to bring up your past. Right. Lord Jesus, can't you forget some things that, you know, when the choir was singing, I got to rocking a little bit. I thought, oh, you know, my shoulders used to sway. You know, my knees used to move. A long time ago. A long time ago. Why is it that when I come to church now, my shoulders can't praise God that delivered me? Why is it that my knees want to praise God? That, 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 that they can still move. My hands that used to clap for Satan. Now my hands want to clap for my Redeemer. My tongue that used to sing the devil's praises. My tongue now wants to sing God's praises. So when you see me, you're looking at a complete picture. I have been redeemed. I've been washed with the blood. I've been satisfied by the Holy One of Israel. You have a life. You have things that you have covered up. But let it stay covered up. When we meet one another, we have to meet one another just like yesterday's gone. And today is a brand new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Even my enemies, when they came upon me to eat at my flesh, ha, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, in this will I be confident. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is on my side. Oh God, I wouldn't have come this far if you hadn't been there to rescue me. Would you have come this far if the Lord hadn't been on your side? God has a plan for your life. You've got to say thank you, Jesus, that you have a plan for my life that I can't have my way. But God, you must have my life. God has your future. God has your future. So what are you going to do? You're going to hope in the Lord. And you're going to wait on him. Wait on him. So when somebody calls you this week, starts talking a bunch of mess about what used to happen, what used to be, and all that kind of stuff, you just tell them, say, I'm going to wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. Yes. Because he is going to strengthen my heart. Yes. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yes. You got to learn to wait on him. I want you to turn and look at somebody and just tell them, say, wait on the Lord. Wait. Yeah, wait on the Lord. Wait on him. Wait on him. I'll finish this out like this. I remember I had some company yesterday. One of the fellows that used to come by the house all the time uh, when they were about all oh, like this little bitty fellows and uh, they sang in the little kids choir one was named Chase Hancock yeah. <laughs> and they would had a little song they used to sing and in that song toward the end of the song Chase would say just wait on me just wait on it. Wait, wait. Boy, that would set my mother on fire. Boy, she'd get the shouting shoes come off. Sometimes I got a little nervous because I thought a wig was going to come off. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you're getting a good feeling from the Lord, you don't care. You just don't care. Amen. Just wait on the Lord. Amen. And he would just repeat that and the choir would sing another little part and he'd say, just wait on yeah. Just wait on yeah. Just wait on yeah. Now as the years went on, she still talked about that song. Yeah. Didn't she, Cheryl? Yeah. She talked about that song and the feeling that she got from God. Yeah. 
She talked about it to the day she left this earth. You don't forget the things that God has done for you. Don't forget what God has already done. God has already brought me through many things. Toss and snap. I wouldn't have come this far if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. What are we right? Hallelujah. But God looked into my future. Aren't you glad he looked in your way? Aren't you glad about it? Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together. Thank you, Lord. May we stand on our feet. Just what he said he will do.
And what they got did as soon as he saw me leave, he went to Walmart and spent six hundred and some dollars. Mm. He brought a cross the line, you know what that was. So he probably <laughs> did that to, to get money for drugs. But my Walmart stuff came to six hundred and some dollars and then it went to Lowe's and spent another six hundred dollars. Mm. So, and he went back a second time to Walmart because whether you know it or not, at Walmart, if you have a Walmart credit card, you can pay for your stuff and then ask you if you want cash. So he won $100. He doesn't want you to get. So, um, anyway, I was blessed that mm -hmm. all of that, they, I didn't have to see any of that. It was like $1,800. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I had a new driver's license, I had a new medical card, I didn't have glasses, my glasses were in there. Plus, I just brought that purse at TJ Maxx. Uh, <laughs> I took my <this> purse. <laughs> and uh, so far, I've pretty much gotten all of that credit for all of that stuff that was in there. They said they never was going to say one of my credit cards and say that they, I wouldn't have to pay that.
Reverend. Yes. She wants y'all to know his birthday is Wednesday and he'll be 50. She's birthday is Wednesday. She said, you ain't saying about my birthday. I said, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> She will be however old he wants to be. <laughs> Come on, let's give him a round. <laughs> right before, right before we um, leave today, just want want you to know something. Listen to this. The church that I grew up in. There was Sunday school, which started at 9.30. And it would go to about 10.30. Then you'd have about a 30-minute break. Then church would start at 11 o'clock. And it would go to about maybe 1. Sometimes they'd have an afternoon program, which started about usually 3 o'clock. All right? Now... Just imagine, what would it be like if you had studied to prepare a lesson for God's people, God's people, and you studied, took your time, and on Sunday morning at 9.30, nobody came. So you do it the next week. And nobody came. And the next month. And the next month. And five or six people come. Regularly. Seven, sometimes eight. Sunday school. We've gotten beyond Sunday school. Nobody wants to go to Sunday school. We don't want to learn anything about God's word. Come to church. We have a lot of things to say. We've got deacons here that study. And I mean, they've been faithful. And I mean faithful. Amen. Faithful. Amen. Faithful. I gotta say this too. We've got a bus driver or two. They have been driving for over 30 years, picking people up. Taking them back. We don't pay anybody to do that. God pays. All right, man. Do you understand? Ain't no, ain't no check waiting on your check. God supplies our needs based upon his resources. Sometimes it don't fall on the parent. That blessing will fall to your child. Amen. That's what happens. Now, so we, we're planning a day. I'm going to get to you in a minute, Sheik. I ain't got it. <laughs> planning a day where we have people that are faithful. I'm looking at you, sister. I'm looking at you. 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 Faithful people in the church. You never hear anything about them. We want to have a day to celebrate within the next couple of weeks. I don't know how long I, I'll be here. You don't either. Amen. You don't either. Amen. So whatever you've got to do, do it. If you got anything, and show love. You got love, we use that word callously, you know, oh, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can keep that. You got to show love. Amen. Love is an action word. Mm -hmm. It must be demonstrated. Mm -hmm. It ain't just talked about. Mm -hmm. You got to demonstrate mm -hmm. love. So we want to have a love festival. And Sheik's been here for a long time. Long time. Long time. <clears throat> <laughs> Almost. 
But we want to have a day, a special day for, for the special people. And just celebrate. Right. And let them know that you appreciate them. Amen. You know, you, you had a day for me. I'm the pastor of the church. A lot of the work that is done here is not done by me. It's done for the cause of Christ. And the same people do it and God pays them. Amen. Amen. And I tell them, I think I made Brother Simmons nervous. <laughs> I came here talking about how much I appreciate you. And he was like, yeah, well, I'm not you didn't even say that. <laughs> I guess he thought I was going to ask him for something. You know? <laughs> but I'm just teasing. Choir members, don't nobody, they've got to sing again. Don't you have to sing again? And then I gave you another one here Friday night on some Friday night. Sometime in this month. Check with Christy. <laughs> but people, this man right here seated with me. He has been working this, you know, techno <laughs> stuff. I don't know anything at all about it. Nothing. But Brother Mike, Deacon Mike, has been doing this and doing this. There's no pay in this <clears throat> that you can go and spend at Walmart. But God will supply all of your needs according to his riches Amen. in glory. That's the word of God. God will. So I want you to know, I appreciate you. You know, this, this praise team up here, they, they get up, they sing, the choirs sing. These preachers, they, I know somebody was praying for me this past week. Amen. We had, we had Pentecost on Wednesday night. I knew somebody, I said, somebody praying for me in Zion. I could feel it. Yes, Lord. I could feel it. We yes. had a time. Amen. Now, and I'm feeling better today. Amen. Uh, Amen. I've been going through rough times since 2014. Jesus. That year was a tough year. All the way up until now. Uh -huh. And I'm feeling like I'm just beginning to get enough Amen. to come back. Amen. I thank the Lord for that. Amen. So I want you to know I need somebody with me. I want somebody young to sit with me. Come and get with me now. Help me plan uh, a love feast for the people of our church. Amen. Who do things over and over and over again. And God, he never misses to bless you. 